Mali, the capital of the Maldives, less than 2 square meters. A third of the Maldives population lives in the Greater Mali region. A typical afternoon for hundreds of expatriate garbage collectors on bicycles collecting unsorted household waste in Mali. Household waste is normally packed in plastic shopping bags and every afternoon these garbage collectors collect the refuse from the households of Mali. These garbage collectors dispose the garbage in the waste collection center in Mali, managed by Mali Municipality, a government department. No proper municipal refuse collecting and disposal facilities are in Mali. No bins, no garbage trucks. Garbage is not properly sorted at the collection center, except for scavengers removing materials from household refuse that can be sold. On a daily basis, garbage from waste collection is transported to Tilafushi, originally a lagoon called Tilafalu, with a length of 7 km and a width of 200 meters at the shallowest regions, situated a few kilometers from Male. Reclamation of Tilafalu started on 7th January 1992 in order to solve the problem of garbage generated in Mali. Tilafushi Waste Disposal Center was initially started as the main waste disposal center for Mali. Presently, waste from nearby atolls and resorts are also disposed there. Potentially hazardous wastes are not sorted in Tilafushi. There are no recycling facilities for the safe disposal of hazardous wastes such as used batteries, lead, asbestos and mercury in the Maldives. A growing number of mobile phone and electronic equipment purchases in the country and rising number of tourist arrivals in the recent decades lead to an increase in disposal of used batteries and other potentially harmful electronic or e-waste. These are mixed with municipal waste and are inappropriately disposed in the Maldives. Likewise, e-waste with other hazardous waste such as mercury, lead and cadmium in the used batteries can mix in the salt water at Tilafushi dump and cause even more danger. The scariest part is that unlike the landfill, in a lagoon fill or sea fill, toxic chemicals can easily seep out into the coastal zone and enter into the lower level in the food web, algae, zooplankton and fish. Once these toxic chemicals are released, it is very difficult to remove them from the food web and can end up on our dinner plate in fish or lobsters. <laughs> 